doing JavaScript algos and data structures on free code camp. We are in the basic JavaScript course on challenge 95 of 113. So today we are going to complete this record collection challenge. So basically we're going to create a function it looks like that takes an object literal records um, which is a collection of music records it looks like takes an ID, takes a prop, like artist or tracks, so one of its properties, and a value. Um, and we're going to make a function that follows these rules to add or remove uh, the prop and value or change them within the uh, specific record based on the ID that's passed here. So you can see here in this little code box here, um, we do have a records collection object, so that's just the data we're working with. We're really just looking at this, and we are going to create a function here, uh, and then we can see the function is called, and it gets past this object, so the data is there, and it gets past an ID, gets past a property, and it gets past a value. So we basically just need to code out all this logic. Um, the function must always return the entire records collection object. Record, okay, no problem, that's done. Uh, if the prop isn't tracks and the value isn't an empty string, update or set that album's prop to value. Okay, so first, looks like we're just going to chain together if statements or if checks here. So we're going to say if uh, prop does not equal tracks, and then we need two conditions, and, so double and, value does not equal an empty string. We are going to update that records property to value. Okay, Re update or set. So for this, we can simply say records at the ID. So we're entering the records collection or whatever collection is passed in. So records here. Uh, and then we're accessing the ID. So in this example here, it's that ID. So it's this one. And then we are setting the prop to be equal to value. So whatever the value is, we're setting that property to be that value. Okay, so that's good. And then we can say else if for another conditional. And I'll just break this down a little bit so it's easier to, to read. Okay, so for this one, else if. Uh, what do we want to do here? We want to, if the prop is tracks, but the album doesn't have a tracks property, create an empty array and add a value to it. Okay, so for this, we want to check if the prop that gets passed in, so prop here is tracks, so we can say if prop is equal to tracks, uh, and the album doesn't have the property, okay? So then we can say and records at the ID, so that specific record within it dot has own property, which is a function. And we're gonna say tracks, because that's what we're checking for. So if that is equal to false, then in that case, we want to create it and set it to a value. So we can say records at the ID at the property is equal to the value. And that should, okay, and we want it to be a, oops, we want it to be an array because as we can see here, the tracks is always an array. So we need to put the value inside the square brackets, which we'll put it in in array, so that will be the sole object within it. All right, so now we can move on to the next one. Else if, if the prop is tracks and the value isn't an empty string. So let's start with that. If prop is equal to tracks and value does not equal empty string. In that case, add the value to the end of the album's existing tracks array. So then we can just say records, so we can access the record, add ID, 
and the specific prop. And then we can dot push, because we know that prop is tracks, which is an array. We can push the value into it. Okay. And then for our final condition here, we can say else if uh, what is this? If value is an empty string, delete the given prop from the album. So we're going to delete the property entirely if the value is an empty string. Okay. So we can say if value is equal to empty string, and then we use the delete keyword here, records at ID, and we want to delete that specific property. Okay. So that should be all these coded out in logic. Um, hope that explanation as I walked through it kind of made sense. If you try and read these uh, and try to understand what they're saying, it kind of is a little confusing just because they're kind of wording it exactly how you're going to code it out. So it is helpful just to kind of code it out, but reading through these uh, without trying to put, you know, turn it into code and just understand it fully uh, is a little difficult, but once you put it down in code, it starts to make a lot more sense because they're kind of wording it that way. Um, I find that a lot of times with Free Code Camp, the way they word things is a little iffy. So let's see if that works. So yeah, that did work. Awesome. That is all they wanted for this one. As you can see, all the tests pass. So I hope that helped. Here's the solution. Um, definitely take a look, rewatch the video if you can't get it, but try and do this one on your own. As I said, try and read through these and code them one by one as you go because the way they're wording it is identical to how I kind of think about it when I'm when I'm coding. So hope that made sense. Hope that helped. Hope to see you guys in the next video.